Hello there, everybody. It is me, Noni Mims of Inspore, back with Through the Waves 3 as France. This first playthrough. Um, once again, thank you very much to Matrix Games and uh, Sildren for giving me the key to uh, allow me to show you guys this game before it's out. It's coming out May 18th. I would definitely recommend it. So, yeah, currently it is January of 1895. And, um, I have. Begun. I have begun a building program, which looks like this, vaguely. Every single year, I'm going to lay down a battleship and a uh, large cruiser of some sort. So the large cruiser would be either an armored cruiser or a battle cruiser. Um, as far as I can tell, um, the correct pronunciation of armored cruiser in French would be... Uh... God damn it, I already forget it. Like, Quasar Curse. Quasar Corse, Quasar Corse, almost. That's almost it. It's not quite. That's that's butchered. I'm trying to get the pronunciation right, but I'm American, so it's not gonna work. Um, despite having heard it multiple times before I went live. Like Quasar Corse. Hold on. Quasar Quasar Corse. Yeah, vaguely. So what I'm doing is. And battleship, I did look up, but I'm a little confused if the term is, like, battleship or naval battle, or, you know, if I should be using the term for ironclad, which is just, um, curse. But then that gets even more confusing, so... Yeah. Friends, why don't you have a sensible language? Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway... So, I'm calling this Quasar Curse A, or I don't know which way the A would go on that if the actual French are pronouncing it. Um, or how that would actually be pronounced. Um, but this is basically the equivalent of what the Germans did um, starting like the late 1890s, early 1900s with uh, the their Panzerkurzers. Um, so, like, Panzerkurzer A. I'm trying to remember which one Panzerkurzer A was. Because um, I know Panzer Cruiser F, I believe, is uh, Van der Tan. Actually, I can check. I have a book in front of me. Why don't I check? I have there's a book which tells me this right here. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, my sinuses just got very briefly bad there. Actually, no, it wasn't. Um, okay, in Germany, they were referred to in official documents as Gross Cruisers, but the men of the Navy usually referred to them as Panzer Cruisers. Um, for German stuff, not for French stuff. I look, um, yeah, Large Cruiser of 1907, F. van der Tan, so Blücher would be E. I'm trying to remember. C and D then would be Scharnhorst and Nisenau. I'm trying to remember what A and B are. Um. I'm sorry. Sorry for the sniffling. Just trying to find it. Okay, yeah, it's not telling me what the first two are here. It tells me, um, Sean Horst and Nisenau, but I'm trying to find the previous ones, and I, I can't. I'd have to look on Wikipedia, probably, to, uh, figure out what the, um, prior one to, um, you know, Sean Horst, Nisenau, and Blücher is. What, what are the first two? What are A and B? Anyway, A here is uh, Dupuy de Lome. 
And right now we actually have a little bit of budget and definitely some funds in the bank. Um, this would be 800 a turn loss. I think for now that is doable. Especially with um, those two Suche uh, class cruisers completing. So, um, we'll build a second Messena, which would be a Charlemagne. Okay, yeah, we're about yeah we're about eight hundred in the red. Um, hold on, no, I did see this. I think after the uh, stream, where one of my uh, cruisers, um, Troud, doesn't have any uh, commander. I'll be honest, um, I w if possible I'd want to grab one, I either Bombard or Ob, if I can get them, if I can't, you know, I'd probably get one of those guys. Uh, one of the Jean Bars. Nope. Okay, so, um, assign new commander, um, I'll assign this guy. I have some below average guys here who I guess I'm just gonna have to wait are promoted and then hopefully assign them to an old battleship or an old armored cruiser, something a little less important. Um, I'd love to get rid of them, but like my prestige has not been changing much. Germany's ordering a battleship in an Italian shipyard. Um, Two Captain de Fregets get promoted. Which is going to leave... Oh, hey, um... Dunbar can get an unassigned above-average commander now. Um... Can assign a new commander here. And this guy's bad on CL Tej. So they are now um, one rank up. They're somewhere in here. Bombard guy, um, Duplat. So that guy's active. This guy would be good to get on something. This guy I'm probably going to hold off on. Well, no, I'm not, I wouldn't necessarily hold off on that guy. That's someone I could put in charge of a... I, I could put him in charge of a lesser ship if I need to, like, move a uh, commander off of a better one. I still have no idea what Lockroy's ability is. Lockroy has just breezed through the rank somehow, and I haven't, I don't know anything about this guy. Um, I want to decrease in tension, or? Ah, uh, view almanac, let's see. He's in service, we are building more. Tensions are fairly low. It's mostly just Italy. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, slight budget improvements. Hold on. Someone got promoted. The frigate Duthu. Okay. Um. Would be on Surkuf. A new commander. Um. So I could grab someone, part of me wants to grab, like, you. No, I'd take it as a slight. Why would you take that as a slight? I think it's only doing it by ship age, and they're the same age, so, um, move them to a ship of the same age, so they take it as a slight, which is a little odd. I feel, I feel like that should be worked on a little bit more. Um, he 
water to boilers, lighter machinery for destroyers, excellent. Japanese research and fleet tactics has been helped by leaks in our industry. I'm, I'm okay with that. So we're going to get these two cruisers done. Hold up, hold up, who got promoted? Um, assigned new commander, couple unassigned guys, assigned new commander, and I'm going to get two new CLs complete here, so I'll probably try to move a couple of my good commanders to them. Um... Ah, uh, darn it. I'll take the slight tension hit to the U.S. and uh, also gain prestige. Oh, sorry about that, had to take a moment. Um, okay, so, uh, are there any improvements to the, uh, Deploy de Lome design? Yes. Okay, so I probably want to modify this. I don't think I can get more turrets in. I think I can get more, uh, ammunition in. I don't think going faster is a good idea. We can go reliable engines. Yeah, okay. Um, Research-wise, I assume that's like water tube boilers. I think one thing I'm going to move down, I'm going to move that down to medium now, the light forces and torpedo warfare, now that we actually do have uh, destroyers. And leave those on high. I probably want machinery on high. I like machinery development. Um, and we're France, you know, we want to go fast. So one, oh, hold on, hold on. So, the new Suchet class just commissioned. Actually, if I look at messages, how's tension changing? I don't know. Okay, so assign a new commander to these two ships. So, the fact that they're a little bad is not good. Here's what I will do. I will see if I can get, um, oh, cancel. Um, I'll see if I can get the uh, captain of Jean Bar on one of these. I can. Which means I can try to get, um, This guy, who's a torpedo expert on uh, Jean Bar. Given that these ships are slow, they're probably going to get stuck in a uh, extra division, maybe with uh, Galilee. Yep. Actually, you know, they can kind of form their own division, but yeah, the fact that they're slow is not great. So I want to grab someone else who's good. So not the guy of Suchet, who's above average. Um, Captain of Fax is average, so I will grab him. And then, uh, no, we can grab two unassigned commanders for uh, the Fax class cruisers. Um, I will get, um, Pothau here building. 
just slightly bigger to point it at home. Of course, German scientists have invented a naval academy. There we go. So, um, I'll probably add those to the, uh, to the, uh, sheet a little bit later. Um, the Durandals are almost done, which is good. I probably am going to want to start on a new, um, set of, uh, light cruisers here. Actually, probably about, I'm going to wait till the, some of the Durandals here are complete. Who needs a commander? Ocean needs a commander. What happened? Um, Contra Admiral Peron is promoted. Okay, so that guy got promoted. Okay, so who can get assigned? So that is, um, Bussy gets assigned. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I have two admirals now in uh, staff positions. That's Peyron and Lockroy. I still have no idea about Lockroy, but yeah. There's also some thought where I could start naming ships after these guys. So we still have the three, or two retired and one dead guy. Fortunately, um, now who is going to command um, Ocean now? So we have a number who are unassigned. I think is Ocean is kind of not a great ship. And right now, if I look at the people I can grab, we have one, two, three, four who are above average. And if I look at my ships under construction, we're going to get the two Carnots done soon. Um, part of, like, uh, you know what? I will be putting the, um, I'll be putting probably a above average guy on this. Maybe, um, the well-connected one. Okay, I'm going to go one more turn. I want to get some of the... Destroyer's done. Oh, hey. Um, another guy got promoted. Which means... And so Redoubtable is a slower ship. I will take my chance with uh, that guy. Okay, so let's see what we can do for a destroyer. Ooh, what is spacious? I assume that's better crew quality. Um... Hmm. You know, I think I gotta stay short range. I could go with this. Um, although I'd have to get rid of this gun. Yeah, okay, that's the for me class. Um,
All right, so cruiser wise, I do want to start building a new um protected cruiser of some sort. And we're going to get the uh Carnot's done here soon. So, what I want to do is I want to go to CL. I'm going to start with an auto design. But um actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to design a CL on my own. I'm going to start with 8,000 tons. Speed of the ship will be required to be 23 knots. We will need medium range. Part of me wants to do spacious, but probably not. Um, actually, let's... No, auto-generate a CL. Auto-generate one, and then just clear everything. And the reason I'm doing that is for the hull. The way I can load a hull template? No. I don't think. I clear all turrets. I clear all turrets. So, I want a 23 knot ship with normal speed. So this would be the same size as my current cruisers. I think I will be going with 5-inch guns. Okay. Turret top I want two. I don't want any armor on the secondaries. Um... So I'm going to be doing a Four and aft. Which if I can get 24 knots, that would be great. I think I'm going to have to settle for 23. Like, I just, I don't think I can get it. I could reduce the armor, but I, I think having the minimum splinter protection is a good idea. And the idea is that these will be scout cruisers, basically. Um, these will take over the role of scouting in my uh, formation, being a lot faster than my uh, other cruisers. Although getting them up to 24 is tempting. I don't think it's reasonable. Yeah, I'll do about... Yeah, I think I'll do about the same as the um, previous cruisers. All right. Um, position that turret more forward. Position that turret more aft. Hmm. I actually think their position is good. I'll go sponsor radius six. It's more these ones. I want to uh, mess with the position of. Okay, um, I don't really have any other 
good engine choices. I mean, spacious would, you know, reduce the morale loss on these ships, but I'm not sure these are really designed to be as much fighting ships as they are designed to be scouting ships, so I don't think that matters that much. Once again, add something like that to custom colors. Okay. I'm out. My mouse just had like a weird phantom movement. Okay, so then I'll do this. Do this. Actually, hmm. I can get more out of this, I think. I think I'll go here, here, skirt there. Um, actually. You know what? I don't think the ship's gonna have as much of a uh, ram bow as some of the previous French ships here. I kind of want to do a step down. No, I just don't think I have enough um things for it. That kind of works. I think that that works fine. Uh, add a visual. I want a uh, anchor chain CL. Mingled Hollow 1, nope. I'll add an anchor chain destroyer. Even that's a bit too big. That kind of works though. If I position this turret maybe a little bit further back, about there. Okay, um. Graphics-wise, I think it is time to uh, stick the funnels in. Yeah, I'll do three. All right, so let me look up um, French protected cruisers All right, list of protected cruisers of France so we would be looking at when do we talk about ships being completed okay so we're talking about roughly like the Friant class or uh well no Lenoy, Lenoy is, yeah, the Lenoy class or the Descartes class are probably the two I want to look at. I'm right now just taking a look. 
And I was just trying to figure out where everything on the ships is located. Even the Lenoi class cruiser might be smart to have the gun all the way up here. Or that might be match what the French did, I should say. Yeah, France really likes sticking the uh, forward gun like as far forward as they could. So the gun's probably there. Um, I mean, I'm gonna set the position of these guys further back. So she has the anchor chains. They're just in a really, really weird spot. Um, boat, boats would be kind of on the side somewhere. Actually, there's not a lot of great locations I can do back here. That I might have to move some. I might have to move some guns around. So let me. Wrong way. I want to do something like this. I just want to jam the boat in the center. Or do I want to move these guys? Actually, no, here's what I do. Just position these two turrets closer. That'll work. Okay, um, I still don't think it's fully dawned on me that I'm playing Real the Waves 3 yet. It just, it's barely occurring, and it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's this weird thought of like, yeah, they consider me important of me. What the hell? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Matrix, but... Yeah, I'm just still... shook. Okay. I have a, a weird idea, so I'm gonna start... Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this to here. Oh god, it's doing this again. I'm going to go back here, and then this is where like the uh, main superstructure is going to be. Okay, that's um one layer. So Okay, what I can do here is normally I'd put a box on top. Okay, so I can do this. Um do this. I will do this over there. That should kind of bind across. But what I can do is create these little kind of staircases. Okay, that looks interesting. I don't know if those are staircases or what, but there's something. Um. I feel like the forward mass is going to go somewhere here.
Uh, okay, so let me get... in a bigger circle. Let's get a 16 foot circle set position. I'm not sure that's the thing I want there. Huh, I'd love to get like another decoration on. I'm just trying to decide what. You know, I will get I will get a circle. I'll get a fourteen foot medium gray. Set position. Actually, no, I'll get a fourteen foot white. Well not medium gray, but like light gray. Set position. There we go. Another visual. I want another circle. In this regard, it will probably be maybe a 10 foot. And then on top of this, I want a mast with a cross tree on it. I will need to repeat that uh, more on the aft end of the ship. Um, in regards to what goes here, I don't know. That might just be kind of blank area for now. I feel like boats would go here and here probably. Yeah, let's add boats. In this regard, I'm probably going to do maybe a 30 foot width divisions. That position, can that fit there? Not really. Um, which I don't even think that's the best spot for it. I'll do a 28 foot width divisions. Um, set position. That one there, I'll I will mirror that boat. Um, I'll do a twenty-five foot with ends because that is actually a surprisingly big one, and uh, put that back there. I'll do a 30 foot with divisions, um, actually. Back there, and then I think it will do... I'll hold off on that for now. Okay, so structure 4, I can... I, I do need something back here, but it probably won't be much. Um... So I think I can do this. And do something like that on the aft end. Structure five. Um, I'll use structure five to get some nice structure kind of around these funnels.
And then I have a structure six I can stick somewhere. Um, honestly, probably back here. So maybe I'll do like a little flag thing back there. Uh, oh, not a flag thing, like a little, little flying bridge. Uh, I guess aft bridge. It's not really a bridge, is it? No. All right. So um, with all of those placed in. I do think I want a couple more boats. So this, what about a boat 30 foot 2? Um, set position. Then I'll do another boat um, 30 foot divisions. Position you know, on the other side. I want some form of crane there. Crane one. Can't really fit that. You know what? Mirror that to the other side. Actually, you know what? Move that crane. Set the rest angle on this one. Now mirror it. Okay, so let me copy that. Copy that. Copy that. Set position of this there. Okay, now I just need probably a couple, a few rectangles. Do a rectangle graded small. Just kind of hide up or hide some of that. Actually, I'll remove that visual. I'll remove. That visual. I think the thing I need to put on this is uh, these deck ventilators. They'll do 12 foot. I'm going to move that next 12 foot. Put a 10 foot on there. Mirror that. I will copy one of those. Set its position back there and mirror it again. Hey, ooh, I can get more in. What a deck vent. Okay, that is just one of those. So I must have renamed it at some point and not gotten rid of it. Okay, um. So. How about a rectangle graded medium? I think that looks solid. If I can add another rectangle, maybe a rectangle solid medium at like here. Yeah, I think I think this looks good.
All right, cool. New cruiser under construction. Of course, it took a while to build, but um, that'll work. We get a new battleship. Two destroyers are commissioned into the navy. And then go automatically build another six um from me class destroyers. So Carnot is now commissioned. Properly in serv well not Carnot, um Jarig Jerry I don't know how to say that. Um Alright. So I want to assign a uh commander. I feel like this guy, Combi, will be in charge of Carnot, or not Carnot, um, of a, that ship, Jarry, whatever. And then I'll wait till Carnot completes, commission... I probably do want to get, like, two of the scout cruisers building. Three or four would probably be preferable, but oh well. Tensions are still low, so these are probably going to be put onto the reserve fleet, although the crew quality in all of them is poor, on all my battleships is right now poor. We have an above average rate of fire enthusiast, so he will be put on Carnot. And honestly, my thoughts are the Carnots get put in the second battle division. And become the flagships of the second battle division. So it will be the Carnos and the uh, Oceans. Marengo will probably be moved to the third battle division, or Devastation. Okay, so yeah, right now the Carnos in the uh, Oceans will be in the um, second battle division. Uh, there is some thought about putting her in the first. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'll leave her in the third. So the Marengos are kind of what I bring in when I need something a little extra. The Carnos and Oceans are kind of supposed to be the main fire support right now. Um, you know, the Charles Motel and uh, Richelieu's are so kind of supposed to be what gets sent in at the end. Um, and then the Brennus and Redoubtable are more supposed to be what takes the fire at the beginning of the battle. Uh, I actually want a new division of destroyers. So can I add all of these or not? I can. Cool. Sign a commander. See <sighs> glory. Oh god. Commander of Lore is incompetent. That would be... That would be one of the Desay class. I think I spend a prestige point to fire that guy.
Because we actually have an incompetent here. I, I don't want him on anything. I don't want you on anything. You would be... You would be good on uh, that ship. I mean, who do I put in charge of the... Uh, destroyer Division? I can take a CF. But probably... I'm considering this guy. Um... Hold on. Um, I need to assign a commander of the, um... 4th Battle Division, so that will be you. The two remaining, um, Suchets will complete. I say... Oh, hey, private shipbuilding still expanding. We're gonna have big docks by the time, um, we get, uh... Dreadnoughts and, or, you know, Dreadnoughts and such. Great Britain has taken over control of Morocco. Wow, that cost me two prestige points moving that guy to a uh, shore post because he's that incompetent. Should not be assigned. That guy should not be assigned to anything. Oh, hold on. Um, set role should probably be a support group on the first battle division. Okay, naval spending got reduced because of low tensions. Take it. <sighs> and the reason I did that, the reason I immediately thought, go for it. Well, didn't immediately think. It took me a couple moments. I'm like, I should do this. It has oil. I actually think it is not only a smart idea to keep it, I think it is a smart idea to fortify it. Um, so the moment we unlock oil, we have an oil-producing colony now. That is, Angola is going to be important to keep. And I want to make sure that none of our other colonies can produce oil. That is confirmed. Confirmed, I believe. Yep. Yeah, we don't have any oil production other than Angola now. So, we have oil! It pissed off Italy somewhat, so, um... I'm going to do a save, and uh, I'm going to start ordering some divisions into the Mediterranean. Because Italy's a little bit pissy right now.
Actually, that just moves everything with it. Crap. Um... I mean, there is a thought where I could, um... Redefine the fleet flag. But, oh well. They have nine... Battleships. Okay, so what if I move this division to the Mediterranean? Move that division to Northern Europe. Okay, so that keeps the 4th Battle Division in Northern Europe. Um, I'm only going to move the 1st and 2nd. I'll move two Battle Divisions... I think 1st Cruiser Division will go... Um, yeah. I actually need another uh, division. Um, for the uh, Suchets, although I think I'm waiting for the other two to complete. Okay, let's try 5th CL Division. Um, Suchet and Friant. Wait, no. Who would be a good commander to assign? I have to take the, uh, I have to take that guy, Duplat. I'll leave you as independent for now, I'll eventually get something formed up. So, um, in terms of the CAs, I think maybe, like, the first six Montcalms should be mothballed. The remainder here... Should be reserved. Apparently, the Desay should be going, right? Hold on. Move you guys to the Mediterranean. Move you guys to Northern Europe. Move you guys to Northern Europe. They're moving the Desays into the Med. Remain in reserve. Those are moving. Um, mothball all of them, except I probably want you. I probably want you in reserve. Okay. So do a quick move over into the Mediterranean. Austria's on very low tensions. Over our messages. And the whole point of me doing this is just to make sure that Italy really doesn't try anything. The Mediterranean is a home zone. Um, for now, I will probably have only the Carnot's active. Um... Probably reserve um Kleber. I think I'll have three Desays active. Um These guys I think will be reserved for now. I think those guys will be reserved. I'll have the Jean Bars active, I'll have um the Durandals active. And now it's only a slight decrease per turn.
And now two CLs are commissioned, two more Suchets. I'm gonna... I'm gonna not take that. I think we pissed everyone off a little bit too much. Um, yeah, it is now January of 1896. Italy is mad at us. Uh, one quick thing I can do is add two more ships to this division. The other two Suchet class. Um... I think by default, your role would be support on the 4th Battle Division. And then I do need to assign commanders. I actually probably want to grab commanders from other ships. So preferably Sfax, Tage, and Forbin. Let's see. So, or Galilee. We don't know any of them. Could grab from uh, Kotlugan. About the Azures. I then I might grab this guy. So whoever's in Coat Logan. I think you are just gonna get one of these unassigned guys you'll get one of these unassigned guys. Okay. I have the month. It is now 1896. 18, yeah, 1896. Um, I will do a quick relations check with everyone. Us getting mad at Italy is really the main thing that has changed. Other than that, everyone else is pretty much cool. Um, just to check, it, Italy has... Looks like fairly con no, I was gonna say fairly conventional battleships, but that is not. Those are those are pretty conventional too. Italy is fairly conventional battleships. They only have nine of them, so like we got sixteen to their nine. I I can always throw more down here. They are some of theirs look like it does look like they're in the seventeen eighteen knot range. Um. Armored cruiser wise. Marco Polo is not great, and those are apparently in the Indian Ocean. These are apparently in the Mediterranean. So the Pisa class is probably a little dangerous. And the Elba class is probably also a little dangerous. Um these are twenty two knots, but um a Desay might still be able to beat these. If not like you know actually no, the Desays are the most modern, but you know, um, Dupoy de Lome will commission this year. Um, and then Pothau, not too long after that. Deal wise, oh, they have some with, uh, two eight inch. And six inch. So yeah, they do have, Italy does have some scary ships. They are building destroyers now. Okay. Um,. But that'll be for next time. Next time, Italy is the target. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you again for Matrix and Southern Games for offering me a key to this game so I can present it to you early and give you a, a good look at uh, what World of Waves 3 will look like when you start playing it. Um, I do recommend getting it. It's out on the 18th, as I said. Links to the Matrix and Steam page are down below in the description. There's also a link to a... I'm going to describe it as a pseudo-official Discord. Um, I've given other terms like semi-official. I, I cannot say official because it's not properly, like, it's not run by, you know, Naval Warfare Simulations and it's not run by, you know, Matrix um, or Slytherin. 
it, it is like fan made, fan run, but you know, official announcements from the dev are po or from one of the devs is, are posted there, and he's been in there sometimes. So we have some dev approval. That's what I'm going with, um, which is why I'm saying pseudo official. It's not. Pro I can't say it's completely unofficial. I can't say it's official. So in the middle. And uh, links to my Discord, my Twitch, and my Twitter are also down in the description below if you are interested in any of those things. So that is all I gotta say. See you next time with more Rule the Waves 3. I really need to record more 2. Darn it. I'm, like, I'm ahead on the 3 now. I need to get the 2 done, but damn, this is good. I love the early game. Bye!